please welcome to Capital. Once again, put your hands together. It's the wonderful Miss Katie Perry, everyone. Thank you. Katie. Um, now, listen, we have been waiting a hot minute for you to release some new music. This song is just absolutely huge. Thank you. Never really over. I mean, talk to me about this. I mean, it, it sounds like a personal record when you listen to it. And, yeah. and it sounds like it, there's a lot of deeper meanings. Is that uh, kind of it? Or is it you wanted to get in there and... No, and, I mean, it always is, there's always levels to this. And with me, you know, as much as I want people to adopt it and kind of um, make it their own and, and have their own interpretation, it always yeah. comes from like a real personal experience. So I think that this song was like a realization that, um, you know, relationships are always in your life in yeah. one way or another to kind of teach you a lesson. And some people come into your life at the right times and they leave your life at the right times. Yeah. And, you yeah. know, that all relationships accumulate to the one maybe that you're supposed to be with, but you couldn't be with the one until you've gone through all those relationships. And yeah. You know, that other people have seen you and loved you and witnessed you, but they weren't necessarily the right one for you. Sure. But they'll, oh, yeah, always, no, no. they'll I, always be there. They'll always be there you know? in the periphery, like, yeah. Yeah, and like, you like, they're there. You did that, and you don't ever have to do it again. <laughs> <laughs> now, talk to me, about, uh, before we talk more about the song, talk to me about the video. Well, yeah. It's a mean, lot of fun to make. Yeah, it was Versus a lot of fun. It's very colorful. Um, you said something I've been hearing, which is that it's like the age of Aquarius. It's very yes. hippie, 70s California, yeah. like... Um, very like I go to a healing center to get over, yeah. you know, an ex or whatever. And actually, the acupuncture that's in my face, I really did it. It's like needles in that's my face. That's real. Well, there's real needles in my face. Yeah. You know, you know, there's CGI now. You don't have to do I that. I know, I yeah. know, but I was like, I'm so dedicated to my art. I'm she spent such the a week. Purist. Yeah, exactly. No, there's like a behind the scenes of her like putting them in, and she was like, I can put about a hundred in. I was like, I'm a, I'm good. I only need like fifteen or oh, twenty. You gotta release that. It's good for your face, so I kind of like was getting a treatment while making a music video, which was great. And then there's some cupping in it. Did you just want to go to a spa day? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I did. That's what I said. Like. Just, yeah, got a massage in no, there. It's got super, everything. It's super like, um, it's kind of, you know, very like new age, yeah. a bit esoteric, but I think it's fun. That video kind of is a little bit like, oh, let's try some alternative medicine, yeah. you know, to like rewire your neural pathways or the way you think. Yeah, for sure. And now the chorus in this, singing this chorus live. That's, that's, that's gonna take some work. It's one of the it's one of uh, the fast paced choruses. Not only is it fast paced, it's like super roboto. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm you're gonna, gonna you're gonna finish saying <laughs> it was no small feat recording it, but I do yeah. that to a lot of my songs. Like I'll go in there and it's like, oh yeah, this is great. I can hit this note, and then all yeah. of a sudden, for ten years, I'm like like clenching my buttocks every time <laughs> I sing Firework. Now you worked with Zed on this record. I did. Yeah. He How did that come about? So um, I've had, um, so this song like was a skeleton mm -hmm. and I, I brought it to Zed and I said, I think this is something that sounds kind of, you know, right up your alley. And we were on tour. So this song I've been kind of massaging for okay. quite a, quite a while. Now with working with someone like Zed, I mean, what's that like? Did you get the opportunity to be in the studio with him or was yeah, it we like were doing it on over? days off when we were um, touring together? Oh, amazing. It's actually the first time I've ever done music while I was touring because I always like I'm way too exhausted. But I was at the end of the show at the end of the tour in Australia, New Zealand, and it was like super cold. And like, you know, when yeah. you go to Australia, you're like and it's the winter. Is it there. winter? Is it summer? It's I don't the winter. know. Well, it was summer in L.A., but it was the winter in yeah. Australia. And I was like, oh, man. Wow. I guess. I guess we'll just go in the studio. Since you've been away, obviously, since since we've been waiting on since this music. Since you've been gone! Yeah, shouts Kelly Clarkson. We, of course, have seen you on American Idol. Yes. Do they play that it. much here? They do. Is it? They do, yeah, of course like, they do. Uh, it's a very big show. It's quite really? popular. Uh, what, what was that? What's it been like? Um, Actually, it's been super fun, and I think people see that. Um, yeah. They can re... I'm such a bad liar in that, like, authenticity is the thing, is the value that I hold... Um, the, you know, the closest to my heart. Yeah. And um, so when I'm not feeling something or when I'm super feeling something, you will always yeah. know. And like, I'm really having fun. Like I'm really tuned in. 
Um, I get to be very slapstick about my humor. Yep. I, there's seen no all. script, so anything goes. I feel like a little bit like a Lucille Ball or a Carol Burnett. Or so you kind of get free reign on it a little bit. I get so much free reign that They're it gets long scary. Days. Yeah. They're long days. No one tells us what to do at all. Like literally. And Is anyone <laughs> running it? Yeah, we've got actually. Yeah. We have a great um, yeah. producer. She's she's English, so of course she knows. So. <laughs> um, but as far as like you know, picking the talent and stuff, nobody tells us, "Hey, you should pick this person because they've got a great story." Yeah. Or blah blah blah. blah. It's just like we hear and we respond. You dressed up as Ursula. I did. Um, for American Idol. I did. There a is a there is a live action Little Mermaid film. I know, being but made. I don't want to play Ursula. I like I don't want to be a mean villain. Like I literally, it was so Look, hard. I'll take do. Ariel. I'll just do it. I'll just, okay, I'll I'll just, just do fine. It. I'll do Ariel. <laughs> fine, I'll do it. Yeah. <laughs> but a lot, a lot of people are getting in, are getting into acting, and they, they are doing the. You know, I spoke to Shawn Mendes recently. Shawn Mendes saying that he, you know he wants to do acting. Shawn Mendes could literally act anything out, and it would be. A, Breathtaking. But, I mean, have you done acting auditions before? Auditions? I, I mean, not not like some, a little bit. W when I first got to Hollywood, I was that's like, it. I'll take whatever I can get. Yeah. But, um, but yeah, maybe something in the future. We'll see. I I'd mean, like to see it. Thank you. I'd, very much like, I'd to see like to it. do something really self-deprecating, take okay. the piss out myself. Very nice. Um, and something, yeah. Do just like a mockumentary of the life of Katy Perry. Oh, God. That would be very fun. Yeah. More <laughs> me, please. <laughs> Um, now, obviously, I had to say uh, to a couple of fans that we were coming down, we were going to be asking you questions. And, and the one thing that always crops up whenever someone releases a single is album. When's it out? When's the date on it? Have you got a name? Everything. Exclusive for Capital right now. Yeah. All the answers to all your cheeky questions. Yeah. <laughs> um, no, there isn't really a plan. But I'll, all I do know is that, you know, I have some music and I want to just start you know putting some some of it out and what i haven't done before is not had a strategy is so, this scary for you then no i think what i did last um with my last record is there was a lot of strategy and mm. i loved it and i loved everything i did with the last record but um i don't really have as many expectations um yeah. and that makes me happy because there's a lot more balance in my life i just know that I'm really good at music and I love contributing and I love connecting people okay. and I love connecting them through like storytelling. There, there is one person that has come up in a lot, a lot of questions that have been sent in from fans. Who's that? And it's a bit controversial me asking you this, right? My fiance. Nugget. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry, Orlando. <laughs> Talk to me about your dog. <laughs> My dog. <laughs> because your dog is famous. Uh, yes. Your dog's been in an advert. Which one? Yeah, a couple. A couple. A, a few. Actually. Which one? Who says that? Well, your dog's been in an advert. Yeah, which one? Yeah, which one? But and if you want to talk dog. about my dog. Yeah, um, I want to talk about the dog. Okay, so I have a tiny, tiny BB. <laughs> uh, so I used to be a cat person strictly, okay. right? And so much so that my fans are called. They've called themselves the Katie Cats. Yep. And I didn't understand dogs, right? I really didn't. I also didn't understand unconditional love because I was like yeah. such a tortured artist. <laughs> and then, you know, I went down the healing journey a little bit or I decided to at least get on. And I was like, oh, this unconditional love stuff. I kind of like this. Oh, yeah. And because um, cats are very like on my time, whatever timing. I'm not a cat person. You know, they go to the bathroom on their own. Yeah. You know, it's like whatever they want to do, they'll love you when they want to love you. Yeah. And I was like, yes, I love that abuse. That's great. And then I realized dogs are actually God backwards. Yes. It's like, no wonder. Yeah. Listen, I haven't seen you since the big moment. Congratulations. Oh, thank you. Or now you're talking about them. I was <laughs> making my way there. I was making my way there. <laughs> thank you. Got to get in there. All right. But no, congratulations. Thank you. That deserves a round of applause, I think. Yeah, congratulations. <laughs> now, the engagement, yeah. the proposal, Big is deal. quite substantial. BFD. Yeah. Big deal. Now, in terms of getting, there was the hell, correct me if I'm wrong, helicopter pad legend has gonna, it legend has it <laughs> legend has it you you were stood on a helicopter pad and and the family every family are there yes yeah, but like you that. didn't take off no but, 
But what? What did you read that? The explain. Sun? Yeah, no, explain. This is what I'm saying. This, this, I don't know. Oh, That's no. what I'd ask it was you. Valentine's Day. Yeah. And um, we, I had to work that day. And I just mm. remember um, I, uh, meeting him at dinner in this place yeah. that I want, this Italian restaurant. Because, like, when I get a when I get like a pass, I want to just like stuff my face with pasta. <laughs> and so I get there, and he, I mean, he's like clean shaven. He's not wearing tennis shoes. I'm okay. like, oh shit, something is going down. Oh, so you knew? Well, I mean, he was letting me like, you know, like, like we were like, we were ordering everything, and it was like, you know, I was like, who is this person? And he's he was been so nervous. Cause uh. Actually, he was. He was going like this. And then, and then I thought I was going somewhere, and I wasn't. I got on a helicopter, and he asked me to marry him. And then we landed on this building, and then went downstairs. And my family, my friends were there, and like the most flowers is like, the most flowers you've ever seen. It's like you know when you know Kanye does that for Kim. You're like, oh my god. I was like, oh my god. I really hope Orlando Bloom proposes to me. That's really romantic. Anyways, it's great. He's <laughs> great. I love him very much. Listen, we had. I could go on and a on. Question. We had a question uh, from. Rita Aura. Oh, the, Rita. She wanted to ask you recently. Hey, Katie, it's Rita. All right, so here's my question for you. If you were to take me on a date anywhere in the world, where would you take me? Anywhere in the world. Take Rita Aura on a date. All right. Anywhere in the world. Well, I, first of all, I would. <laughs> uh, and second of all, um, Rita's a fun gal. Yeah, it's very um, fun. So, and like she's she always is down for such a good time. I don't know. I mean, I guess it would be like Disneyland. Okay. I'm like a Disney Disney girl. I mean, I and I love amusement parks. Wait, what amusement parks do you have in London besides the Fort I? Fort Park we have in the UK. Alton Towers, you could take her. Faulty Towers. Alton Towers. What's that? It's a theme park. I've, is there any stay good there are there any good ones in the UK? Alton, Alton Towers. I it's believe good. you. It just no. I'm being serious. Alton Towers. I know it sounds it like a silly name. It's very fun. I like. I would say love. to Orlando. Roman said that we should go to Alton Towers. He'll know what I'm saying. All the, or 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 we could go to Brighton by the sea. Yeah, you go to Brighton. But that's Hang like out second for a day. or third date. That's when we're really invested in each other. Yeah, it's a bit time. romantic on the pier. It's a bit romantic. I just yeah, want to yeah, like yeah. have a have a drink and go to Disneyland. Alton Towers. Cool. I mean, uh, Alton Towers. Right, Katie. I think it's come to Thanks, a big Rita. moment. Thanks, Rita. And I'll let you moment. borrow my wigs, and I can borrow your wigs. <laughs> <laughs> Amazing. Thank Katie you. Perry, thank you so much uh, for letting me come and chat to you today. Thank you for letting me hear I'm some glad of the music. We, I'm glad we turned the lights on in the club. Yeah. That's like... There's a lot of heel marks. And a lot of like Jaeger... Sticky Jager floors. bombs on the floor. Yeah. Uh, God knows it. what else. Let's hear it for the wonderful uh, Miss Katie Perry <laughs> on Capital, everyone. Thank you. If you enjoyed that interview... <laughs> if you enjoyed that interview, check out... When I uh, surprised a fan. Yeah, it was it was uh, it was quite it was something. A lie detector. Yes, got very awkward. Or you can check out this lovely video, which I, d I don't know what it is. Not it good enough. Do this one. <laughs>